are here again with Miss Gail Johnson. Gail, thank you so much for having us in your home. Um, we're just so excited to do this project and we thought that you were the perfect candidate. I noticed your picture when I was in your office and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I just want to know more about this photo. So can you tell me what was the situation happening in that photo? And you seem to be a nurse. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? After I matriculated, I went into nursing and this was a, photo, a studio photograph actually that was done in my year of nursing. I cannot remember the month, but it was like post Fortrecker days and post Second World War. But um, it was in 1966 when I did a year's nursing. Wow. Yes, no, you... we won't go there, thank you. <laughs> Do you remember what was going through your mind when that photo was taken? I was possibly thinking, switch off, because I'm not crazy about being photographed. Um, and although I look, mm, yeah, I look a bit sulky, don't I? I was most probably thinking, please hurry up, I want to get out of here. Well, I think you look fantastic. What were some of the highlights of you being a nurse? What was the highlights of me? Being a nurse. I loved every minute of it, actually. Um, <clears throat> I didn't think I would enjoy it because I had set my heart on studying medicine, but this was much more hands-on. So it was great dealing with patients on a daily basis. Uh, you're supposed to do about three months college before you go on to the wards, but there had been a flu pandemic. So just after a month in college, we were put on the wards and it was like, I've never been educated so quickly um, in my life because suddenly we were having to bed bath patients and the first ward I was ever put on was male urology, which is anything from the waist down. And I'd just come out of school and it was all very embarrassing. And I freaked. And the, the sister on the ward was actually a male who was the most phenomenal man, but the most basic man, well, you have to be basic when you're dealing with anything below the waistline um, in men. So lots of laughs, um, but yeah, very embarrassing. But I learned a lot. Hmm. Have you ever experienced um, a difficult patient or a very odd situation in your practice as a nurse? Well, yes, <laughs> there was a young policeman who had broken his neck um, trampolining. He, he represented the South African Police Services in gymnast. And this young man, um, who was quite delightful, thought nothing of it to ask you to pick up his penis and put it in the, the urine bottle. A, not a glass bottle, the urine thing, and I died. Um, but he thought nothing of it. He was, he needed help to do it, and so you you just had to do it. And I can remember him distinctly. He was the second bed on the left hand side from the door. Um, but a tragic situation, in as much as yeah, paralyzed from the neck down doing something he loved, but yes. And then there was another gentleman who was about 45, 50, and he had just been circumcised and he was thrilled with the job and couldn't wait to show me. <laughs> and you know, if you've just come out of school and you've never seen one of them, it's rather, yeah, you die. But yes, I learned, I learned a lot. So Gail, when you look at that photo today, as I saw it was hanging from your office, 
Um, are you proud of the woman you see in that photo or the younger version of you in that photo? Or what is it in general do you feel when you look at that photo? I'm very different now. I look at that and I think, yeah, I loved my nursing. I enjoyed my nursing. I was a good nurse. Um, but it never went further. I could only nurse for a year and then I missed my backup. And one wonders if I'd ever gone right through with it and ended up as a senior sister or trauma unit sister or whatever. Um, but I have no regrets. Um, I learned. Um, it was quite amazing. The other nurses and I used to have loads of fun. And there was heartache. Of course there was heartache if you lost a patient. But yeah, that was me when I was young. Hi, my name is Leah and Gail is my grandmother. Hi Leah. So... Do you think you look like your grandmother in that photo? I think I do. I have some of her attributes. I have a very similar face structure to her. Do you think you would ever go into nursing? No.